Uh, hi, my name is Estelle Grandidier. I'm a sculptor and we are in Brixton Village where I'm, I'm exhibiting in a pop-up gallery with other artists, but today we're looking at my sculptures and the drawings. I started, uh, I was uh, first in, interested in uh, studying about art history and uh, after a while I just thought, oh, let me try. I, I wanted to try things and I also, because I was traveling a lot, I wanted to be able to sketch people uh, sketch places where I was going to. So um, I wanted to know how to uh, draw and I went to uh, evening classes to, uh, to learn how to draw and then I, I got the fever of learning uh, lots of different uh, techniques and that took me into a foundation, art and design foundation and, um, and then onto, uh, onto a degree. I graduated from uh, Camberwell uh, in 2010 as a mature student and before that I was doing, a, I did a lot of uh, evening classes in art, uh, foundation and then on to uh, college. But uh, I've been uh, a full-time artist since uh, 2010. It's showing your work, selling your work, having people uh, getting people in, in galleries, uh, in shows, uh, wanting to, to spend money on, uh, on artwork that are more like uh, um, people who want to buy art because they, they love art, not because they want to do, uh, uh, to do investment. That, that would be nice that there were more people wanting to buy art for the love of art. It's amazing to be able to, to do one what you want to do, to be creating, because it's always different. There's not one day that is the same. It's, uh, it's uh, uh, how your, uh, your creativity works and uh, this, there's only plus sides being an artist. Uh, what I enjoy the most of being a, an artist is like, uh, it's not automatically the end result in, my, uh, in the pieces, how I get to that piece, it, it's the, the uh, how I got I get the idea, and when I start making something, it can go completely uh, in a different direction to where I was starting, um, you know, aiming at in the first place. But this is really what I like about it: is uh, not not being. Uh, uh, not having, uh, giving myself the freedom also of uh, uh, letting the path of creativity. I've always loved uh, Modigliani and Matisse. They were my, always my favorite artists. And I also uh, love uh, African arts. Um, and um, I've always been uh, um, inspired by uh, um, going to the museum, um, but also my family, my kids are mixed, uh, mixed heritage and uh, I think that uh, a lot of my work, uh, in a lot of my work you can see uh, the, their lines, their features, especially in, uh, in the, the heads, the head sculptures. But uh, my inspiration also is just my personal life, um, especially with, uh, I think that it's more personal when it has to do with uh, torsos, um, because uh, it's more about being a woman and uh, exploring uh, uh, aesthetics and beauty. Uh, I like this piece because, um, well, I like the aesthetics of, of this piece. Uh, and I like uh, the finish of it, which is a me metallic, uh, a metallic uh, glaze. Um, I love the uh, I love the fact that it's um, people never know if it's like a, if it's a male or a female, and also they don't know if it's a, if it's a metal, or they usually think that this is a metal piece, and uh, and uh, I like it. Uh, um, I like I like the fact that people wonder what it is made of and um, 
This is why I called it warrior. Oh. Uh, um, a lot of people also see uh, the references to uh, uh, Modigliani's uh, um, aesthetics. So it always, obviously, uh, um, please, it pleases me to know that people can recognize that uh, uh, I, have, um, I have a link with Modigliani's work. Um, sculptures and then I, I, draw, I draw them so the sculpture becomes uh, a subject matter and uh, so I use uh, mixed media and uh, but yes. This one you can see it's uh, this one is a uh, warrior and this one so uh, when I, I particularly like a, a, a piece I, I like drawing it uh, to, to have several drawings of, of it. Uh, you can see uh, two examples here of warrior, this one and this one. They are the trophies. Uh, trophies is uh, it's about f um, femininity and beauty. And uh, I made uh, lots of different, uh, different shapes, uh, even a pregnant lady, because um, obviously, uh, the woman body is always beautiful and uh, there's always so many uh, fashion uh, about uh, how women should be or should not be but in fact um, uh, the, female, the female body is always uh, very attractive, uh, very beautiful. Um, I decided to use uh, glazes on, uh, on this uh, work because um, um, it's, it feels like it's uh, they are dressed and uh, um, we as women, we, we, we embellish our, our body with, uh, with clothing. The sculpture is, a, is a quite like, it's a very interesting, uh, it's, it's great to be a sculptor but you have to know that in, it's, it is 3D so it takes place and it doesn't take just place, it has a presence compared to a lot of people are ready to, to buy a 2D work because it's, yeah, you, know, you want to put it on, on your wall but when, uh, you, when you are a sculptor you know that uh, um, people are more likely to buy 2D work than 3D work because of the fact I think that this is like a very presence, this is a, there is a presence when you buy a, a big sculpture, it's, uh, it's something that uh, needs to, uh, to appease you and I, I hope that with my sculpture you have this, uh, this feel of uh, peace that you bring at home, but yeah, sculpting is, sculptors maybe have more difficulties than uh, painters. I was starting uh, uh, the, the conversation. Being, uh, being an artist is definitely uh, not an easy path. So, you know, you just have to enjoy what you do. That's the most important thing. And don't compromise because if you start compromising, there's no point being an artist. I love being uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, Brixton Village uh, because it's very colorful. Uh, people are, are really interested in what we're showing in the gallery and um, I think that uh, this is a, an amazing place. So yes, this is a great place to be in. Well, uh, anywhere where I can exhibit it, uh, it's always good to show your work. If you show your work, you're existing as an artist. If nobody sees your work, nobody knows you're an artist. Yes, yeah, so, so I, have, um, I have a website which is uh, stlartspace.com but you can also find me on Instagram stlgrandidier g-r-a-n-d-i-d-i-e-r